Welcome back everybody. These are them two colonies from the past video from the what type of seeds episode. And now that we've determined what kind of seeds you ought to give them, I've decided we should go ahead and try an experiment. Basically, we're gonna keep the experiment real simple, guys. We're gonna feed one of them fruit flies once every week, and the other one is gonna get only seeds. I'm very interested to see how they develop separately or whether it even makes a difference at all. Now both of these colonies have only been given seeds up to this point. I will not be feeding them nectar or honey. These harvesters are found in open grasslands and that's where they forage for seeds, usually just grass seeds, to be honest with you. In the height of summer, you could find workers climbing grass and cutting them down until the seeds fall to the ground. This is in front of my house, and this colony is at least 10 years old, maybe older. Be sure to watch to the end guys so you can see the results as of release of this video. Give a like if you're enjoying the content and go ahead and leave a comment up on what you think the results will be or if there's anything I should consider before carrying out this experiment. And as y'all can see, both colonies are roughly the same, about four workers. And up till right now, only seeds. This is their first meal of fruit flies and they actually took them right away. I could tell they were really excited about them. Wow guys, it's been about nine days. They got six workers now, two pupa and several larva and several eggs, that's for sure. If you look closely at the larva, you'll see the yellow contents of their stomach. And obviously that's pure seed. Both these test tubes have a heat cable running along the mouth of the test tube. And other than the fruit flies, there is no difference between these two colonies. Oh no, guys. She still only has four workers. And if you look at the bellies of the larva, they don't look so yellow like the other ones. Now, before y'all go jump into conclusions, we have to go over a few very important things. For example, perhaps the seeds that I gave the other colony were just better quality. And not only that, the other colony seemed to be developing a little quicker than this one from the get-go. However, as I was going through the list of everything that it could possibly be, I realized that the cotton blocking the water was blocking the water too much.
Harvesters require a lot of water in order to break down the seeds. And down here in South Texas, there's a lot of humidity in the air. Thus, there's always water condensing on the leaves and on the rocks at night. Nonetheless, I'm sure the fruit flies benefited them very, very well, considering that they really didn't have much seeds to eat. Sorry about the light, guys. My white LED light just for whatever reason just stopped working on me. But I felt I had to add this to the video so y'all can get the most updated that they are. I still gotta make an update video of my one year old pogo colony. They're getting new landscapes, new nesting area. Much is going on with those girls. So it's gonna be at least a month or two before we get back to this experiment. So if you don't wanna miss out on a thing, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. Everybody, it's y'all's boy from down south. Keeping it real. Much love and gratitude from the bottom of my heart for all y'all that stuck around to the end. Peace out, everybody.